when all the kings of the Emri on the west side of the Arden, and all the kings of the Canaani near the sea heard how Adonai had dried up the Arden River ahead of the people of Israel, until they had crossed it, their hearts failed them, and they fell into depression because of the people of Israel. It was at that time that Adonai said to Yoshua, "Make yourselves knives of flint." And circumcise the people of Israel again a second time. So Yeshua made himself knives of flint and circumcised the people of Israel at Givat Haaralot. The reason Yeshua circumcised was that all the people who had left Egypt, who were males, all the fighting men, had died in the desert along the way after leaving Egypt. For although all the people who left Egypt had been circumcised. All those who had been born in the desert on the way, as they went on from Egypt, had not been circumcised, because the people of Israel walked forty years in the desert until the whole nation, that is, the fighting men, who had left Egypt, had died out, because they had not heeded what Adonai said. Adonai had sworn that he would not allow them to see the land. Which Adonai swore to their ancestors that He would give us a land flowing with milk and honey. So we raised up their children to take their place, and it was these whom Yeshua circumcised. Till then they had been uncircumcised, because they had not been circumcised while traveling. When all the nation had been circumcised, every one of them, they stayed where they were in camp until they had healed. Adonai said to Yeshua, "Today I have rolled off from you the stigma of Egypt. This is why the place has been called Gilgal ever since. The people of Israel camped at Gilgal, and they observed Pesach on the fourteenth day of the month, there on the plains of Yericho. The day after Pesach, they ate what the land produced, matzah and roasted ears of grain that day." The following day, after they had eaten food produced in the land, the man ended. From then on, the people of Israel no longer had man. Instead, that year they ate the produce of the land of Canaan. One day, when Yeshua was there by Yericho, he raised his eyes and looked, and in front of him stood a man with his drawn sword in his hand. Yeshua went over to him and asked him. Are you on our side or on the side of our enemies? No, he replied. But I am the commander of Adonai's army. I have come just now. Yeshua fell down with his face to the ground and worshipped him. Then asked, What does my Lord have to say to his servant? The commander of Adonai's army answered Yeshua, Take your sandals off your feet. Because the place where you are standing is holy, and Yeshua did so.